morning, Rusty. How are you, boy? Huh? How do you feel this morning? Well, we have work to do, boy. Come on. to be in quite a hurry. Who's after you? I've got some bad news for you, Jack. It's about your brother, Grant. I'm sorry, boy. I know how you must feel. So they got away. You'll have to get a new foreman, Tom. I'm hitting the trail. What are you going to do? Just what you would do. Sheriff after that little scoundrel, Prado. Oh, hey, they want to see you. I was held up. I was robbed. Five miles south of town. How many men in the gang? Well, there was uh, just one. Uh, a sawed-off little weasel and uh, no bigger than a schoolboy. Well, what did you lose? Well, I didn't have anything very valuable, but uh, Mr. Barnes here, he lost his uh, watch and his wallet. He only got $14. I didn't mind that. But the watch was the one the boys gave me at the last rodeo. That was valuable to me. Well, we'll see if we can pick him up. You'd better come along to identify him. Heading into the desert. I'll send out a dispatch and have him picked up on the other side. That is, if he makes it through that furnace.
Easy there, easy. Where's your posse, Sheriff? There isn't any posse, and I'm not the sheriff. You mean you ain't the law? No, cows are my game. Oh. Thanks for helping me. What brings you men here this time of day? We came to see the boss. You seem to forget that I'm general manager of this ranch. Well, this time we're going to deal directly with the boss. Jed, if you wish to remain as foreman, you'll have to deal with me, whether you like it or not. Now, what's the trouble? The same thing that's been happening. Another one of our camps was raided last night, and two more of our men was found dead. I'll investigate the matter at once. Jed, you say two of our men were found dead? Yes, Miss Carter. It looks like somebody's trying to put you out of business. First, the water wells is poison, and then the raids begin. How long has this been going on? Well, almost two weeks, right after you went east. And we've lost six of our oldest hands. Why haven't I been told of these things, Mr. Gorson? There was no need of worrying you with these matters, because that's what I'm here for. Have you reported this to the sheriff? Certainly, and he's investigating. Miss Carter, most of us grew up here working for old Mr. Payson and your dad until they died. And we don't want to leave you. But we can't stay here and be killed off one at a time. I'm sure something can be done about this, Jed. I'll go in and see the sheriff myself. And so I stopped a stage over in the valley. To get the time, I suppose. Yeah. And I got it, too. <laughs> Where are you from? Down along the border. Yeah, so I figured by your saddle. You've heard of the Mexicali kid. No, I can't say as I have. Who was he? Who is he? Why, say, there's no one faster with shooting irons west of the big river. Who is he? Well, I haven't run into him, I guess. Well, guess again, pal. You're talking to the Mexicali kid. Well, that's great. Lucky for me, I happened along right at this time. No, lucky for me, you happened longer. I'd have been through. Well, that might have been best, had it happened. Meaning what? You're riding the wrong horse, kid. And you're heading for a fall. And the sooner the better. Why, you poor low cowpoke, I'll teach you. Reaching for this? For a man who lives by his guns, it took you quite a long time to miss that one. You win, pal. I'm sorry I blew off the handle. It's my nerves, I guess. Did you ever ride with the Collins gang? Me? No. The Collins boys don't speak my lingo. They deal off the bottom of the deck. Well, do you happen to know where they hang out with? What do you want with them? Oh, it's just a personal matter. It's a strange thing about that outfit. They pulled a bank job in Rio a while back, and they've been getting paid off one at a time ever since. Only the two brothers left. They're hard luck. We want to see Gorson. Well, isn't there something I can do for you, gentlemen? Not a thing. Come in. Gorson, Chris and Joe are outside, and they insist on seeing you. Very well. Let them come in. I told you men not to come here. I know, boss, but we're running short of dough and we need provisions. That was a very good raid last night. A few more like it, and your job will be finished. Thanks. Remember, you must not be seen here anymore. I'll come to you hereafter. I get you. Looks like things are working out fine. They are. In a very short time now, the Payson Ranch will be mine. You're very clever, Gorson. 
stealing the last frontier of the cattle country. You should say acquiring it. Mighty decent of you to let me ride your horse. Well, you couldn't ride a lame one. You know, you're a right swell guy. And I owe you a lot for what you've done for me. Maybe someday I can even the score. Well, that's all right, kid. Forget it. But if you ever run on to the Collins brothers, I wish you'd look me up. Say, I got a special job to do over in Payson City. And after it's finished, I think I might be able to lead you to your men. That is, if you stick with me. Then I'm sticking. That's a deal. Good afternoon, Miss Carter. Hello, Sheriff. Glad to see you again. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I came to see you about the raids at the ranch. Mr. Gorson tells me you're investigating. Yes, so I am. But so far, I haven't been able to make much headway. Whoever's behind all this seems to be doing a good job of covering up. I can't understand any reason for it. Neither can I. Jean, how did you happen to hire Frederick Gorson? Well, as you know, he was cattle buyer for several foreign packers. Naturally, he was a good contact. Do you trust him? Why, certainly. Surely you don't suspect him. Well, not knowing the man very well, I just thought I'd ask you. I'm going over to the store and get some tobacco. Meet you in a minute. My pack horse is lame. Picked up a stone, I guess. Look him over, will you? Sure will. Say, where's the best place in town to eat? Well, the best I found is down to my house. But you can't eat there. The next best is across the street. Thanks. I'm so sorry. That was very careless of me. It's quite all right. Here, uh, let me, please. Is this the usual walking for strangers to Payson City? Well, not exactly. Personally, I don't mind. Really, I'm very sorry. It was a pleasure. Well, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. That's my watch, all right. And that's my wallet. Well, that cinches it. Just a minute, Sheriff, please. This is really very funny. You've got the wrong man. I'm afraid I'm the one you want. But only because I planned a practical joke. A joke? Do you call holding up a stagecoach a joke? Well, I didn't think it was going to happen, Sheriff. You see, he and I are pals. And I jokingly accused him of having no courage. So I bet him $10 he wouldn't hold up a stagecoach. I didn't think he'd do it, the poor chump. Who's a chump? So we rode into town to sort of square things. But if anyone is to be punished, it should be me and not him. Well, this is an odd one. A stagecoach held up in fun. And now a man who didn't do it wants to take the blame. I don't know just how to proceed. Mr. Barnes here is the only one who can make a complaint. He's the only one who lost. But Mr. Barnes hasn't lost anything. Have you, sir? Well, no, I haven't. I've got my watch and my money back. There you are, Sheriff. Now, gentlemen, I apologize and ask you to be lenient. Well, I guess we'll have to overlook it this time. But it's a mighty poor way of joking. It'll never happen again, I assure you. Thank you very much. You sure 
sure think fast, pal. Too bad we didn't meet long ago. Why, with your brains and my shooting ability, Will we... you forget all of that? How about that job you came here to do? Oh, yeah. But let's eat first. Hey, Ed. Here's that pinto that was stolen the other day from the Payson outfit. Who left it here? That tall, young stranger. Open the lunchroom. Hey, boys. We'll see if he can talk his way out of this. It seems the sheriff is interested in us again. It's that pinto. I stole it. Horse to me means the rope. So we're riding out of it. Looks like we're gonna have to shoot our way out of this. Come on, let's jump it. Take that trail. We're splitting here, kid. My horse is lame and we can't ride double. Well, I can shoot our way out of this as easy as talking. Will you forget those guns? Make for that far ridge. I'll join you there tonight. All right, I'll be waiting for you. Boys, go after him. We'll pick up his partner. Pete, you'd better look after this horse. Got you, Sheriff. Come on, Bill. Did you wish to see me? Why, you're hurt. What happened? Oh, it's nothing at all. Just had a little spill in the river. Well, that should be taken care of. Oh, please don't bother. It'll be all right. Oh, McCarty! 
Missy, you call me? Yes. Go to the bunkhouse and bring the medicine kit. All right. I hope you don't mind, but I'd better be traveling on. But why? We'll have a look in the house. You? Yes, but it's not as serious as you might think. Then why do you run? Well, I haven't time to explain right now because I have the most important job of my life to attend to. Step in here. Yeah. We've been chasing a young fellow that stole your pinto the other day. We figured he might be in here. Sorry if we bothered you. Not at all. Come out of there. I want to thank you for what you've done, and I'm sorry it had to be your horse. What are you doing in Payson City? That's something else I can't explain right now. I hope I'm right in believing that stealing a horse is all you're guilty of. What do you mean? Lately, we've been having serious trouble at the ranch. Mysterious raids, and even murder. I've had nothing to do with that, on my word. I didn't think so. I wouldn't have helped you. I'll see to it personally that your horse is returned to you. You had me worried. I didn't know it was you. How'd you get your horses? I went back to town after dark. He'll find his way home. A riderless horse coming off the summit? We'd better investigate. Listen, kid. I'm afraid I'm in for trouble drifting with you. So would you mind telling me what that job is that brought you here? Well, I don't know for sure, but it has something to do with the Payson Ranch. You see, I was sent up here from Laredo by a fellow named Eric Ron. And I'm supposed to report to a guy in Payson City. Now, you know as much about it as I do. You're trespassing on the Payson Ranch. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Well, if it ain't the kid. Hello, Chris. You know these men? I know him. He's a Mexicali kid. What you doing around here, kid? We're on our way to Payson City to see a fellow named Frederick Gorson. I'm Frederick Olson. Why did you wish to see me? Eric Ron sent me. I've been expecting you. Who is he? He's my pal, Jack Wood. We travel together. I see. You and Joe go ahead with your work. Well, come on into town. I'll give you your instructions. While riding in here, I've decided that your reputation is too bad to handle a deal as important as this. Besides, you're too young. Now, this pal of yours, can he be trusted? Sure thing. But you can't drop me out of this. I won't. You'll receive your cut just the same. Call your partner in. Jack, come in.
I've decided that you can serve my purpose better than the kid. That is, if you're willing to carry out my instructions. What are your instructions? You are to impersonate the missing heir to the Payson Ranch. The missing heir? Exactly. You see, Mr. Payson's only son disappeared 20 years ago. But the old man provided in his will that if the boy ever turned up, the property is his. Well, supposing the son does show up? He won't. I have positive proof that he's dead. Besides, to safeguard your impersonation, I have eliminated the older ranch hands who might have identified the real person. Aren't there any other heirs? Yes, one more. The daughter of Mr. Payson's former manager. In the event the missing heir fails to return within five years, she becomes the owner. You're certainly playing for high stakes, Mr. Gorson. But just how am I going to be taken care of in this deal? And how long will it last? You will receive $1,000. And as soon as your identity is proven, you'll be finished. It's a deal. Have a seat. These papers will prove your identity. Study them carefully tonight. Tomorrow you will appear before the judge and file your claim. And now, for my own protection, you will sign this bill of sale deeding the property to me. I'll fill the date in later. Sign it, William Albert Payson. Oh, Carl! I want you to sign this document as a witness. Yes. Which will make it strictly legal. These papers apparently prove his identity. Then you're satisfied and recognize his claim? Yes, Judge. Now I'll have you meet Mr. Payson. Have him come in. Carter, this is Mr. Payson. How do you do, Miss Carter? Your claim has been officially recognized, Mr. Payson. Thank you, sir. So you are William Payson? Yes. I'll vacate the ranch as soon as possible. I wish you wouldn't, Miss Carter. It won't be necessary. Thank you, Judge. I have prepared an inventory of your property. So if you will come to my office. We'll go into that later. So this was the most important matter in your life you mentioned yesterday. Yes, and I'm indebted to you for helping me with the sheriff. Stealing your own horse, that's what I can't understand. Other things will no doubt happen that you won't understand. But I want you to trust me. Please. I guess I'll have to. Well, you've come back just in time, because if these raids don't stop, you won't have a ranch. So you'd better do something about it quick. I intend to. I'd like to ride up to the ranch with you, if you don't mind. Certainly. Maybe not very good, they see, but she's sure plenty hot. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to like it here. You should. It's the house you were born in. Yes, but uh, I've been away for a long time. Just why did you wait so long to come back here? Someday I'll tell you. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
你最好我的牌呀！你看怎么好我的牌？我整个英语章，我整个好英语章，你看好我的牌怎么样？怎么来喊我的牌呀？我我我给你们都英语章，我都好优雅。你给们喊我的牌怎么的？我怎么来喊我的牌呀？我给你们都英语章，你看有没喊我的牌呀？我都好优雅。你看刚我老好样了，你喊我的牌了？你看有没喊我的牌怎么的？你看刚我老好样了，我又给他喊刚我老好样了。你看有没喊我的牌怎么的？啊啊啊！搞不了啊，搞不了啊！哎，潘生 ，I've been looking for you. Miss Carter, this is my friend, uh, Mr. Jones. How do you do? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. If you'll excuse me, I think I'd better round up McCarty. For your sake, I hope things work out. Thank you. You ain't falling for her, are you? I wish I could. Meaning what? Men in our game shouldn't fall for any woman, especially a good one. You sure think deep, don't you? How's everything stacking up? He has been accepted. Well, then how about paying us off? As soon as we take care of the new Mr. Payson. <laughs> That'll be easy. Oh, no, no, not that way. We must be very careful about this. You men bring him in here, and I'll be back tonight. Leave it to us. Gorson said not that way. Just in case he's faking, circle around. We'll take him from both directions. He won't try shooting. He's out all right. I'll ride in and get Gorson.
Come here, Rusty. Come here. You must have been riding hard. What's up? Plenty. Look, kid, you got me into this deal, and I've gone through with it for my own reasons. But now it's time for a showdown. What showdown? With Gorson. I'm going to beat him at his own game. I see. Because of the girl, you want to wreck this deal. Now you listen to me, Mexicali. And before I knew what happened, he was gone. You were very careless. He must be stopped. Our Mr. Payson is going to double cross us. So I suspected. Just why did you say he could be trusted? Because I thought I knew him, but I was wrong. I put him in this deal, and if you're all through with him, I'll put him out. He has served my purpose. That's all you need to say. Nobody can cross me and get away with it. If you boys want to see some real shooting, you better trail along. This time he must not return. He won't, unless you believe in ghosts. And I don't want you to leave here. Why are you going? I don't know exactly, except that since I first met you, I've learned to like you a lot. And I know that I shouldn't. Jean, there's something I want to tell you, but I can't. I know. You're not who you're supposed to be. How did you know? Woman's intuition, I guess. That's why I'm leaving. I don't want to see you get hurt. I was forced into this to protect both you and myself. Oh, I know it sounds strange, but it's the truth. And you must believe me. Missy! 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 That man's here again! What man, McCarty? Boom Boom Man! Him plenty mad! Wants you! Come on out, Mr. Payson! I've got important business with you! It's my friend Jones. Please don't go. Don't you worry, Jean. I'll be back. Here he comes, kid. Let him have it. I'll do this in my own way. I've got some things to say to him first. This is your showdown, Mr. Payson. You better get ready to draw. What's the movie, Mexicali? Why have you got your guns oiled for me? Because I don't like double crossers. Well, are you gonna draw? Not on you, kid. Unless you force me to. So you're yellow. 
I thought so. Well, I'm letting you have it. <laughs> We're being watched. Boy, those bullets came close. It's our first time I ever tried to miss a guy. Nice work, kid. Now let's be out of the way. Corson will make his move. I'll see you later. You dropped him clean, kid. He never had a chance to draw. I'll meet you at Gorson's office as soon as I pick up my bedroll. Well, we'll be there. I'm sorry if I frightened you, Gene. But this is one of those things I said you wouldn't understand. Mexicali dropped him in his tracks. Well, that's fine. Where is the kid? Stop to get his blankets. He'll be along. As soon as he shows up, I'll pay off, and you fellows can ride on. And on your way out, drop Mexicali off at the ranch. So it will look like it has shot it out. You're a pretty smart dude, Garson. I'm going to record my papers with the judge before his office closes. I won't be long. Hey, Chris. Throw me the maggots. Sheriff? Well, Gorson walked right into your trap. He just left the judge's office. And there's his whole deal with Eric Ron. That ought to hang him. Where's the kid? He ain't showed yet. Hmm. That's strange. been open and those papers are gone. Say, that sounds like Mexicali. Opening safes is his special trick. This gives you authority. You know, I never cared for the law before, but now I kind of like it. <laughs> well, you've handled this so far, Jack, so you might as well continue. I'll take orders from you. All right, Sheriff. We'll start by clearing the streets. The Sheriff is cutting our horses loose. You cover the rear door. Gorson, you and your men are under arrest. I thought you said he was dead. A fine mess you have made out of things. Are you coming out peacefully? Or shall I come in after you? You had better come after us. We haven't got a chance going in there. I'll smoke them out. That'll bring them out of shooting. Split up. Keep them covered.
We'll have more of a chance. Come on. Special favor I want to ask you. You just named it Mexicali. Everybody always said I'd die with my boots on. So let's fool. Slip them off. The judge and I are sure glad we gambled on you, Jack. The day you became Mr. Payson. Well, thank you, Sheriff. Well, guess I'll be heading back to town. Oh, by the way, I can use a deputy uh, just in case you don't hook up here. <laughs> I'll keep your offer in mind, Sheriff. But I thought you were going to stay here and manage the ranch. Do you really want me to, Jean? Of course I do. Then consider me hired. 